Michael lives, and this time they're ready. Hello, folks. Welcome back to your whole channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. But before I review the movie itself, I would like to announce that I'm not the only one having this Halloween marathon. As a matter of fact, Grayson from uh, Strange Grayson is doing the same thing. Check, a, check out his channel and support him, please. He's doing so much uh, awesome work. His reviews are so well, so well made. I definitely would like you to check him out. And uh, that's his channel, Strange Grayson. Uh, Stranger Grayson. As for Michael, uh, from uh, Strange Michael, he already reviewed all the movies, I I believe. Uh, but yeah, check him out too. He's, he does some really awesome reviews on all the movies. So support both of these guys. Support them as they're doing so much uh, cool, cool, so many cool things, really. So now let's move on to Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. So I'm gonna be reading. I'm gonna be reading from Wikipedia. So it is a 1989 American slasher film, co-written and directed by Dominic uh, Athenan Gerard, and starring Donald Pleasance and Daniel Harris, the fifth installment in the Halloween series. It follows serial killer Michael Myers, who again returns to the town of Haddonfield to murder his niece Jamie Lloyd, who traumatized from his previous attack on her has been institutionalized following her attempt to murder her foster mother. So, yeah, basically, uh, our main character from uh, the previous movie, uh, who's also one of the main characters in this film, uh, who's Jamie, played by none other than the great actress named uh, Daniel Harris, is basically, she's being institutionalized after what happened to her step, uh, her stepmother, uh, a foster mother, sorry about that. Uh, basically, yeah, something pretty awful happened at the end of the fourth film. I'm not, I'm not really spoiling anything because it's kind of, like, obvious, uh, for, like, uh, those who have watched it. Like, I reviewed the movie for, for the people who already might have watched the fourth one. So, yeah, uh, I believe that you to be watching this review if you haven't watched the, if you have watched the fourth film already that's what I, I that's what I'd assume but yeah that's uh I that's what I think right uh basically yeah this movie is uh following Michael who basically on October 31st uh 1988 uh Michael Myers is shot and falls down a salt mine shaft Sheriff Ben Meeker, the lynch mob of Haddonfield's truckers, and state police toss down dynamite to finish him off. Escaping into a nearby creek before the dynamite explodes, Michael stumbles upon an elderly hermit who nurses him back to health after he falls into a coma. One year later, on October 30th, 1989, Michael awakens, stabs the hermit to death with his knife, and returns to Haddonfield to find his niece, Jamie, Lloyd again, who narrowly avoided being killed by him the year before. <clears throat> so this is basically, I was quoting from Wikipedia right right, right then, and uh, basically this is uh, about Michael trying to get uh, his niece, uh, Jamie, who's being uh, in uh, some kind of a, an institution, as I mentioned before, and uh, she's having issues speaking and... Uh, yeah, she she's been she has those you know kind of episodes where she sees Michael doing some bad things. Like she has a connection with him. It sounds like kind of like a psychic, uh, a psychic connection with Michael. And basically, she tries to warn people and so on. And uh, she's visited by her steps uh, foster sister Rachel and uh, her friend. Uh, what was her name? Tina. Uh, yeah, basically, and and Tina has a dog, uh, Doberman, and basically she brings it. She brings him uh, over to uh, to see for Jamie to see, and basically it's pretty fun at first, but then uh, things are gonna take a turn for the worse as Michael once again shows up and the murders are gonna resume. And so many awful things are going to ensue. And basically, Michael wants to get back his uh, 
his, he wants to get his niece, and he wants to basically finish what he started before, right? So, yeah, this is basically the plot for Halloween 5, The Return of Michael Myers, and Sam Loomis, Dr. Loomis, is still going to try his level best to stop him, to stop Michael, before he can claim any more innocent lives. And, uh, yeah, I believe that's uh, pretty much it. So what did I think about Halloween 5, the, Return, the Revenge of Michael Myers? Wow, this movie was awesome in my opinion. As great as the fourth one, if not better. I'd say it's pretty much pretty much the same. It's it's as great as the fourth one. And this movie is so disliked. It's so disliked by, you know, Halloween fans. I don't know why. To be honest with you, this one is is so great, man. It's so well written, well directed. I can't believe that so many people dislike this movie. I don't know why. But yeah, this is the fifth film. It's basically a direct sequel to the fourth film. And uh, yes, the two are like closely uh, connected. So don't watch one without watching the other. Like watch the fourth one first and then watch the fifth one. Uh, yeah, that's uh, basically it for this movie. Um, yeah, but yeah, that was awesome. I really love this movie. I believe it's after this one that the series started to go downhill <clears throat> with the sixth one and the sixth one and seventh one and so on and so forth. But this one definitely held its own and it was an awesome movie. I had so much fun. They're like <clears throat> from from very early on you can tell this is it's getting scary and so on. And the scenes with Michael were pretty well done. The actor who plays Michael did an awesome job. I'll get to the actor's names in a in a in a few minutes, in a few seconds, a few minutes, uh, in a few. But yeah, uh, this uh, they they all did such an amazing job. I'm so glad Daniel Harris is back to play uh, her character, uh, Jamie. She did a pretty awesome job. I really liked everything that she did. She's just so she's such a great actress, really. Even from her very early. Even from her very early, her, from her very early days, right? She was so young back then. Uh, I believe she was about uh, nine years. She was nine years old in the movie. Uh, yeah, so, but yeah, she, you know, you got to take the age of the, the actors into consideration to determine, to determine whether they're good or not. And uh, she definitely is great. Uh, because, you know, children kind of, it's harder for them to act, so you got to take that into consideration. Uh, but, yeah, she still she still did a pretty awesome job, I got to admit. So, yeah, uh, there are a lot of cool scenes uh, at the barn. They, they, they were, the kills in this movie are so well made, so, so well, like, everything is so, you know, well directed. It's really scary. It's really good. And, uh, you know, I, I stand, I stand by what I said about Loomis. I, I love, I love him more <laughs> as, as, uh, as the movies go on, basically. Yeah, in this movie, he was kind of funny at some point <laughs> when he broke one of the cops, you know, phones, uh, I believe, I believe it was a phone. And then the guy was like, what are you doing? And he pulls a gun at him. <laughs> And then that, that, that was so funny. He, he's really <coughs> an awesome character. <coughs> he re <coughs> he really grows in in uh, in the viewers in the viewers in my opinion. Yeah, he's uh he's an awesome actor. Uh, Donald Pleasance. Uh, now we can get to the actors' names. Yeah, Donald Pleasance is uh the actor who played uh Samuel Loomis. <coughs> And then we have Daniel Harris as Jamie Lloyd, Ellie Cornell as Rachel Carruthers, Bow Star Sheriff Ben Meeker, Wendy Kap Wendy Kaplan as Tina Williams, Tamara Glenn as Samantha Thomas, Don Sh Shanks Don Shanks as Michael Myers, the Man in Black, Matthew Walker as Spitz, Troy Evans as Deputy Charlie Blotch. So yeah, those are the main characters, uh, and actors, main actors, characters, right? Charlie Blotch, 
yeah, this one was pretty funny in my opinion. But they're all pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I really like the fact that I really like the fact that early Cornell was back as Rachel. She's pretty great. She's a great actress. At the beginning of the movie, uh, she's taking a shower, and basically, uh, you can tell that it's really ominous. Has there something that's gonna happen? Uh, very like soon in the movie. The dog, uh, I forgot his name, uh, but basically starts barking his head off. And you can tell that he's sensing something that is not right. Uh, but yeah, this is basically how it goes. I'm trying to look for the dog's name. Um, I forgot about it. Uh, I don't remember. Um, what was his name? Max. I believe it was Max, right? Uh, but yeah... That was pretty funny. But yeah, the actors are pretty awesome and everything is great in this movie. Really, seriously, I really have to watch more reviews of this one because so far I have heard a lot of bad things about this movie. <laughs> and that's fine if you don't like it. But Grayson, I can't wait to hear your review on this movie. I love your review so much. Really got to hear your thoughts. Really got to hear your thoughts on that one. And uh, hopefully you like it as much as I did. Maybe not, but still, it will still be. You you you'll still, you'll still consider it to be a good movie from the from the series. Definitely recommend it, man. For for you for your for for your channel, definitely recommend this movie. If you like the first few movies, I think you're gonna love this one. I re I know I really did. I love this film so much. I love this film. So freaking much. I cannot e even emphasize it enough. Really, like, it was so great. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so it takes place one year. It takes place one year after the first, uh, after Halloween 4. You gotta love the consistency, right, between the movies, the time they released, and the actual time. And, uh, yeah, this one was actually, yeah, it's a direct sequel to the fourth one. It's pretty much like uh, in the in the second Halloween film, you have the beginning. It's kind of a recap of what happened before, so you kind of see what happened right before this movie, this film, and uh, then a year later, you have the movie that's starting to take to take to take place uh, on on Halloween. Yeah, it takes place on Halloween Eve for the most part. As, as the others, like the others, uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it, that's awesome, I like the fact that this place at night, and, uh, Michael Myers, there's a scene at the barn where it was pretty, the scene at the barn was pretty scary and gory, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, it involves a rake, <laughs> it involves, yeah, some, some, you know, in this movie, Michael is going to use some other weapons too, but again, the iconic kitchen knife is going to be his weapon of choice. But yeah, that was pretty good in my opinion. Pretty much everything was good. You really feel for Jamie in this movie because she's traumatized about what happened uh, before <clears throat> with the foster mother. She's having a really hard time coping with everything that happened. And uh, basically, she makes a new friend. Uh, his name is, I'll tell you in a second. I think I I, I mentioned him, uh, but I might have not said his name. Let me try to find him. Uh, he's dressed up as a pirate for Halloween. Uh, he's probably somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, I believe he's... Uh, the actor's name is Matthew Walker. Who plays Spitz? Yeah, his name is Spitz. Or, no, what am I saying? Or, uh, Billy, Billy Hill, right? Uh, played by Jeffrey Lenman. Uh, Billy, uh, let me try to find, uh, yes, 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 that was him. I, I was gonna say, let me try to find him, but yeah, it's, uh, Jeffrey Lenman who plays Billy, who is a close friend of, uh, Jamie in this character, a good friend of, of hers, um... But yeah, that, that was pretty great in my opinion, that she has someone to, someone to confide in, someone to trust, as he's really kind to her, he really tries to help her, he doesn't mock her anything, or anything, 
he has, uh, it's hard for him to talk, I believe, like he stutters a lot, but still, he's a pretty nice guy, he's a pretty nice character, but yeah, he's old, he was also institutionalized, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much, this is pretty much it, basically, for the movie, I don't know what else to say about this movie, really. I think I said it all. I don't want to bore you with uh, the boring details and so on. I think I'll just stop really soon uh, by basically rating the movie, letting you know what I thought about it, and uh, wrapping it all up. So, uh, yeah, this movie was definitely a great uh, movie. A great, uh, I had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, it was really, really great. Michael was scarier than ever in this movie, uh, especially since uh, you have some characters who are messing around, you know, some youths that are wearing Michael masks. Uh, even in the previous movie, actually, in the previous one. Yeah, in previous movies, you have some actor some characters wearing this mask, but they're not Michael, so you got to be very careful at some point, one, you know, gets very darn close to getting shot. <laughs> but uh, hopefully the cop doesn't shoot him. But yeah, this is when Michael Myers became very, in my, I believe, um, he became very famous in, uh, when it comes to horror. So people started dressing dressing up as, as him. So that's why you get this, uh, you know, this... Uh, this commercial kind of uh, thing that's going on with Michael Masks, uh, Michael's Mask. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So yeah, this movie was awesome. I don't, I don't believe it was as, maybe, I don't think it was as great as the fourth one. But at the same time, I do believe it was great, as great as the fourth one. So if I were to rate this movie on a, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'd give it 9.5 out of 10. Same rating I gave the other one, 9.5 out of 10 for being so great, for really uh, being very, like, enjoyable uh, for the whole uh, movie. Uh, this, uh, the final twist in this movie is pretty good, too. Pretty good, too. Pretty ominous. The music is awesome. Uh, it sounds like the music is, is um, it sounds more like the one in the first film, in my opinion. But yeah, this movie was so awesome. I really loved it so much. I uh, really loved everything about it. I don't know what else to say, really. I think that I said it all. I don't want to bore you any anymore, any longer with this movie. But yeah, definitely recommend it. And can't wait to hear more reviews on that one. So I think that's pretty much it for this movie. And uh, yeah, that's uh, it is worth it. Don't listen to people who say it's bad. <laughs> Even though it's totally fine if you don't like it. And you feel free to let me know. But I do believe it was really great. And uh, I think it deserves more attention than it already has. Than it, than it has. <clears throat> not than it already has. Because <clears throat> the attention it gets is not really great. As it is too underrated in my opinion. So what about you folks? What did you think about Halloween 5, The Return of Michael Myers? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Is it your favorite movie from the franchise? Is it your worst movie from the franchise? Let me know about your favorite movie from the franchise as well. And uh, let me know about your thoughts on this movie. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye, folks. Take care. This whole channel of reviews for you. Signing off.